Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Sattu Paratha is a wonderful Indian bread variety which is very popular in Bihar and UP. It has a filling made with gram flour and a few other ingredients. It's full of flavor and usually doesn't need any curry by the side. So now let's get started and check out how to make this delicious Sattu Parathas. For the Sattu Paratha, I've taken 3 cups of Atta that is wheat flour. This is a 250 ml cup. Just add the flour to a nice wide bowl, which is easy for mixing. To this, I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon ajwain, that is carom seeds, 1 teaspoon kalonji seeds. First, mix everything with the flour. Now, I'm just going to gradually start pouring the water to mix the dough. So, I've just added about half cup of water now. So, the water is at room temperature. So just gradually pour water to get the nice dough consistency. Knead the dough for about 5 minutes till it's all well combined and you get a nice smooth dough consistency. So the dough is ready, just keep that aside. Now I'm going to mix the sattu mixture for the paratha. So I've taken 1.5 cups of the roasted gram flour which is called the sattu. You can actually make this at home. To this, I'm going to add about two medium sized onions that have been finely chopped. So, next, I'm adding a piece of ginger that's been finely chopped. This is roughly about three teaspoons. Three teaspoons of finely chopped garlic, about five green chilies finely chopped. Now, you can adjust the spice according to your taste. Add about one teaspoon of salt, just adding a few kalonji seeds. We call this the nigella seeds. One teaspoon carom seeds or ajwain. Next, I'm adding 2 heaped teaspoons of mango pickle. So, you can use any pickle gravy for the filling and add about 2 to 3 teaspoons of mustard oil. Now, if you don't have mustard oil, you can just use regular oil, cooking oil that you're using at home. And I'm adding a few chopped coriander leaves. This is about half cup. Just add the juice of half lemon. So, now start mixing all the ingredients together. So, we want to make this filling as flavorful and as tasty as possible. So if you have that pickle oil also, you can add that. So make sure everything is well combined. You can adjust the quantity of the ingredients depending on the quantity of sattu that is the roasted gram flour that you've taken. So it's not too dry. If you see, it binds well. So this is the consistency that you want. So our sattu mixture is ready. Now we can start making these parathas. So now I'm just going to divide the dough. See the dough is nice and soft. Just divide it into equal size dough balls. So I've just divided the dough equally. I've made it into a nice even size balls. Keep this aside. So now we're going to make the sattu paratas. So just shape the dough like a cup. So see what works for you. We need to seal the filling inside. So these paratas will be a little thick. So you have to take a little bit more dough than the normal chapatis or the normal paratas that we take. If you feel the dough is a little bit sticky, you can always dust it with a little bit of flour. I'm taking two spoonfuls of the sattu mixture and gently press that in. So once you've done that, just seal it from all sides, just close it and just seal it. So at this point, I'm just going to just dust it with a little bit of flour, gently press it. Just dusting it with a little bit of flour, not too much and gently start rolling it out. You don't want to press it too hard, just gently roll it out. I've made several other paratha recipes. I'll give you a couple of links in the description. Do check them out. And if you want to see any other paratha recipe, please put it in the comment section. Make sure I make it next time. So you can see I've rolled it out. It's not too thin or too thick. So this is a good size. Once you've rolled out the paratha, keep this aside. So I've rolled out all the parathas now. Now the next step is to start frying them. 
Once the tawa is nice and hot, place the prepared rolled out parathas. Maintain the flame on a medium high. After about a minute, flip it to the other side. Just gently press on all sides. Once you see these brown spots, just add a little bit of ghee on all sides. Now I like ghee very much, so I'm just being a little generous here. You can either use ghee or oil or butter, it's up to you. The aroma is simply amazing. You can see they cooked beautifully with those lovely golden brown spots. Our first sattu paratha is ready. I'm just going to fry the others. So here are these delicious and healthy sattu parathas that you must enjoy when they are nice and hot. You can enjoy it and serve it with some nice tomato curry or raita by the side or you can enjoy it with any side dish of your choice. So there you go, you can see how delicious the sattu parathas are. Now make sure you follow all the tips to get that texture perfectly. And you can use any pickle gravy of your choice to enhance its flavors. To try this recipe, enjoy and share it with your family and friends. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. The second edition of our home cooking book is now available on our website 21frames.in. I'll give you the link in the description, you can go and check it out. The book is currently available only in India for now, so you can place your orders on 21frames.in.